Saturday, December 8th, I think. It's freezing outside. It's like minus 20, so it's a pain in the ass to work in here. We went to Home Depot, rented some uh, heaters. In fact, I just finished the outro for the episode 9 right now, so we're like, uh, just keep rolling on this. Essentially, today we'll be uh, just running all the wires to all the rooms and uh, downstairs. Uh, Matt is here, he's helping me out. Uh, I mean, and by helping me out, I mean he's doing all the work and I'm helping him out. So, uh, we'll show you how that's done. So, take a look at uh, this electrical stuff. I hope the noise is uh, not too annoying in the background. <laughs> I didn't mean the hammering, I meant the, the machine. But uh, essentially I'll show you guys how to just wire one room. So uh, by code, each room is required to be on one uh, breaker. So, and we're gonna run this blue wire so that uh, they, we can identify where essentially the, the bedroom circuits, uh, I guess it's required by code now. Uh, essentially, we'll grab this wire, we'll, we kind of measured it out, just a rough measurement of the first plug in the wire, which is the closest to the circuit breaker, uh, and we measure, you know, we estimate the, the distance from the plug to the breaker, and we kind of get our initial line, and then after that we're just going to be running it uh, in the walls, all the plugs in the one room on the one breaker, so we'll be running it up the walls, uh, in the ceiling, back down to catch each plug, and then we'll... Uh, We'll go back around and complete this circuit. So I'll kind of run a time lapse to show you guys how that's done. And then Matt's going to run you guys on how to actually wire the switches and then the lights and stuff for the, uh, the bedrooms as well. That's what he's doing now. So let's start with that, all right?
wiring box, we want to make sure to leave enough slack. Uh, we usually leave about, I say, 12 inches uh, in the rear. So whatever you need to move the box or change something, you have enough slack in the back. And we do a little loop in the back. It's usually nice for the inspector. Uh, so in the, in the back of the boxes, you have two screws for grounding. So your two copper bare wires are going to be screwed to the box. So one of them you will be able to cut and the other one you will keep to ground. So this is a 314 wire. You should have a black, white and red. So what this does is that one will have the power, two will communicate. And or have a neutral in it. So I'm going to cut one, keep the other. So rule, I say the rule of thumb. That's a bad analogy. But what we do is per the box to have enough slack, we use the hand plus a thumb. Then we cut the rest. So what we do here for the smoke detectors is that I'm going to do joints and put each color together. So I want to make sure it's nicely done. So I'm going to put the locks together, the reds and the whites. That's a big window. It's really nice. So, as you can see, we got our uh, really big front window. Man, uh, like I mentioned, we've been having a lot of troubles with the uh, window manufacturer. So, um, that's been one of the challenges, is really, really double check uh, your window schedule. You know, someone kind of dropped the ball uh, on their end uh, when it comes to actually delivering these windows on time. We finally got this window uh, and you know, as you can see, there's a lot more light coming in here so it's really nice. Essentially the electrical is all done in the house, he's just finishing off a few boxes. That'll make us just about ready to call the inspector so that he can give us the okay to uh, put the insulation in. So it's uh, mid-December now, uh, come Christmas time I'll have a bit of time off uh, during the holidays. So we're going to be taking on the insulation ourselves, so that's gonna be a, a fun challenge. I'm in the process of ordering all the materials now. Hopefully, kind of next week, we receive all the materials, we get the go-ahead. Hey guys, what's going on? As you can see, we've uh, got the insulation in. I just wanna tell you guys what a crappy week uh, we've had so far. This has got to have been the most uh, challenging week of the build. It's just been just a series of bad lucks. Essentially I uh, hit a deer with uh, my car coming back from my uncle's funeral on Sunday. We had already been dealing with a water tank that burst in my uh, current house uh, since kind of like last Wednesday and then we got it restarted again and then it you know completely shut down and uh, sprung a leak on Friday it was a relatively new tank so it's you know kind of a surprise so we had to get that replaced so we were without hot water for uh, kind of the whole weekend and we got it finally fixed on uh, on Tuesday and then on top of that the house got broken into this one right here I had a lock on the door I thought it uh, was pretty good I guess but Somebody must have used a pry bar and cracked open that lock and uh, came inside and stole quite a bit of tools. So essentially my drills are gone, uh, my skill saw is gone, we got a portable heater, uh, propane heater stolen as well, as well. So that was actually the first time, this is the second time it happened. So this time they took uh, quite a bit more stuff. Uh, and then that was my tool belt with like a miscellaneous bunch of little tools like my hammer, my wire cutters. 
So there's a whole bunch of crap I gotta replace, which, uh, you know, is another thing I wasn't expecting. So, if there's a lesson learned is that life goes on when you're building a house and uh, stuff doesn't always go as planned uh, in life. So, stick in there, keep going, we will. And, um, you know, hopefully stuff starts uh, picking up again, so. Oh yeah, and I chipped my tooth. <laughs> oh. Alright, although it's been a uh, pretty tough week, it's still Christmas time and that's still a pretty special time, so we just wanted to take the opportunity to uh, thank all of those who've been uh, watching these videos, who've supported us, and uh, we just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy New Year. Uh, I think 2018 has been a Hard. pretty good year, a challenging year. <laughs> Building a house ain't easy, but... Life isn't easy. <laughs> good luck in 2019. <laughs> what are you thankful for? I'm thankful we're building a house. I'm thankful uh, we have things in our lives. I mean, we have each other. We have these animals, which are is our little family. Uh, you know, we have this house, we have plenty. So, I think we're, uh, we're super lucky. And uh, thanks for everyone who is coming on this journey with us. So, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>